Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to our live show. Happy Friday. Peace and love. Here, yes, 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 it's a special day and we've got special outfits on because we're in the middle of our virtual retreat, our second session, which we will talk about later. But thank you all for being here with us, whether you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, make sure you are subscribed to our channel because you never know what's going on around here. True that. It's always fun, always fun. Happy Friday to all of you. Please make sure you comment throughout the show. We're gonna have a giveaway at the end as we always do. $25 gift card is up for grabs just from all of your live comments. So ask questions. Yeah, you might wanna question our uh, outfits, <laughs> but it has been a fun past few days for us. Mr. HP is of course, he is all in. Hey, all in. Man. How's it going? We will explain better later. But thank you for being here. We celebrate Fridays here at GE and uh, we kick it off with a cocktail of the week. Now, as I said, we are in the middle of our Stripology virtual retreat session two. Actually, it's our last day, unfortunately. So we are going to be drinking the cocktail of the day for the retreat. It's a Mai Tai. It's my version of a Mai Tai. So maybe not as sweet as what you're used to. But as strong as you um, think. <laughs> it is as strong as you may be used to or not used to. <laughs> so cheers, everybody. What's in a Mai Tai? Of course, you have light and dark rum. You have, um, I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> you have some orange liqueur, some amaretto, lime juice and orange juice. I didn't have lime juice. So I put a little bit of extra orange juice, a little bit of pineapple juice, and there it is. Cheers, everybody. Shake it up, very good. Put some ice in. You sure you didn't put no extra, like? And a cherry. Something else in here? Like what? There's a lot in here. Woo, there's a lot in here. <laughs> stir it up, stir it up. <laughs> or I'm just a rookie, one or the other. I uh, yeah, you're a rookie, kind of. No, you're actually not a rookie. Let's kinda, not say that. Kind of am. So uh, quilts on the set today, we, like I said, we're in retreat and we have our, one of our retreat quilts up, one behind me and another colorway behind Mr. HP. This is Winnie. And Winnie uh, was one of our retreat quilts. As, as I said, it will be published later on this summer in a new book. Yes, does, you heard it here first. Where does Winnie first. come from? Winnie. Winnie the name. So. The other quilt that we had, we taught on uh, the first day of retreat is called Billy, mm -hmm. B-I-L-L-I-E, and she was named after Billy Holiday. Mm -hmm. This one was actually, I had another name and I didn't like it, it didn't work, it didn't fit. So uh, Nancy, you all know Nancy from GE, she recommended Winnie, and uh, I thought that was great, but I decided to change, uh, adjust the spelling to W-I-N-N-Y because we're teaching it on second day retreat. It's really because of the location we are on our retreat and that I'm going to explain later because yes, we are on a cross country train ride for our virtual retreat. And so uh, those of you that have not, no knowledge about what we are doing here, I will talk a little bit more about that a little bit later. But that is what is on the set. Now, um, word of the day. I think that's pretty obvious. What's the word of the day? You know what the word of the day has to be. If I could just <laughs> see the screen, these glasses. Just... They're kind of dark. <laughs> Man. How did and you work? don't have your reading uh, <laughs> power behind those, Seriously. do you? Seriously. <laughs> Let me see. Where is the word of the day? Uh, two words. Peace and love. Peace and love, everybody. Yes. Kindness. That is it. Peace and love, kindness, happiness. Let's take that into uh, Easter week coming up. So I love that. Love that. So uh, it is some of the, wor some of the uh, national days today. It is World Water Day. 
So water is always good. Drink your water alongside your Mai Tai. <laughs> I've got mine too. Big jug too. It's over there. And um, it is also National Goof Off Day. Hey! <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> That's that like every day for perfect me. Perfect day. Yeah, we goof off all the time. And the third really perfect one, it's National As Young As You Feel Day. Yes, age is just a number, everybody. And we know that for sure here with our retreaters. Age goes away. We hmm. all are the same age, participating in retreat, hmm. having a blast. I'm thinking about that one. Right. With my back and my knees. And well, stuff. it doesn't matter when you're on, <laughs> on Zoom and uh, everything else. <sighs> That's, why, that's why we do yoga, everybody. As young as you feel, and we do yoga every day at retreat. But let's start off with our show and tell. We have some great quilts that you have shared in Gudrun's Quilt Crew on Facebook. So uh, let's take a look at some of the selections, late selections that you have shared today, or not today, this past week. Show and tell. <laughs> We are starting off with a beautiful Nelly quilt made by Carol. Love the colors. It's, uh, it looks like Tim Holtz. Uh, fabulous. I just love that striking design. So cool on that lighter background. And those Tim Holtz fabrics are perfect. Perfect for it. Then we have an off-kilter table runner made by Diane for St. Patty's Day. We had St. Patrick's Day during our first session of retreat. It was really fun, and I hope you enjoyed it. That's a great, great runner to do in different themes and for different holidays. So Quilt As You Go from Fast and Furious Club. Then we have Debbie's Kira. I love this very calm and neutral Kira. Uh, this is the crib size, so really a perfect little baby quilt, uh, baby gift for a newborn, or just a small little throw. Then we have an uh, Inca quilt made by Teresa. I think this one was from our cruise. So this was started on the cruise. This was one of our cruise kits. Beautiful job. I absolutely love it. I have a bluish made. Uh, um, I have an Inca quilt made out of that bluish fabric, and I absolutely love it. So great job. Then we have a Katrina made by Diana. Awesome colors. This, I don't know if it is, but it looks like the colors I'm working with in my temperature quilt because I was making some progress on that this morning. Beautiful, Katrina. This is also the crib size. So much fun. And that is a quick quilt, everybody. If you want to try it, it's quick. Then we have Ellen's Hope. And this is really cool. I love that she used a single accent fabric for the center strip and color blocked it the way she did. It makes it super artsy and fun and contemporary. Really good job. Then we have a beautiful strip search. Uh, strip search was one of my early strip patterns. A uh, beautiful job by Sarah. I love this. So this quilt, honestly, you guys, you can sew it up in any scrappy strips. You can throw a whole bunch of unfortunate strips in there and it's always going to look great. And I love your version, Sarah. Great job. Then we have Linda's Joe. Ooh, that's not Linda's. She's very happy. Yes. It's peace and love today. Is it stuck? <laughs> you are so happy. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a JoJo quilt made by Linda. What an awesome extra border on there. That is beautiful job and uh, very impressive. This looks like it was hanging in a show. So, so much awesomeness in that border with the scallop border. Uh, love that. And congrats on hanging it in a show. And then we have Jones coming up tulips, Fast and Furious Club project. How fun is that? I love it. Perfect now for this Easter weekend and Easter week coming up. So uh, just spring in the air, right? Spring in the air. Spring's in the air. Yeah, except there's a little snow in the air in Minnesota. <laughs> uh, then for, last but not least, Cheryl's Matrix quilt. 
beautiful. I love this with the just the two-tone colorway with the blue and yellow. Uh, so much brightness and fun for, for the spring. And I love that just using the two blues in the accent. Just a little distinction between the two tones, two values. That, that is an awesome effect. So thank you, everybody. Great show and tell. Keep sharing. We love to see what you made. I had to sneak a little sip on my drink. Great show and tell. And please share in our, if you're a part of our Goodness Quilt Crew on Facebook, share your projects there. We would love to, love to share them on our show. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk more about our retreat. So we have, this is our fourth annual virtual retreat. We, of course, started this during the pandemic. And our first retreat was 2021. We realized very early on into that retreat, day one, that this was something that was very much needed on the market, not just during a pandemic. It really is an opportunity to connect from, with people from all over the world. We have eight countries represented in our retreat this year and 46 states, which is amazing. So um, you get to meet so many people. You have conversations with people that you would never really have a chance to meet. Uh, the re virtual retreat allows folks that don't get a chance to ever travel to an in-person retreat to participate fully. And we love that for all kinds of reasons. And so, uh, and then, you know, fully able people just absolutely love it. There is uh, minimal packing and minimal cleaning up <laughs> and stuffing and no travel <laughs> involved. So we absolutely love that. Games. Yes. And I always design new quilts to teach at retreat so this year is no different we have two quilts the billy quilt and the winnie that is hanging behind me and an extra one so we also had a little uh pattern today that is brand new they all uh, received a little kit in their bundle in their retreat box and so here's the first time everybody else gets to see this one um this is little Inga. So this is what they're working on today. Uh, maybe you should put up a photo of it. It will show it off better. Um, I thought I put it in there, little Inga. Yeah. Um, well, it is. It is retreat. And we. this is day six for us of retreat. So uh, brain power is dwindling fast. So it's a good thing it's a Friday. But uh, we've been having so much fun. So the, the teaching, uh, what happens at retreat, I teach the three quilts. How we do that is we pre-record all of our actual teaching, all, all our demos. So once I play it live during retreat on the Zoom, then I put it in everybody's account. So you have access to those videos forever. So if you ever, if you don't finish your quilt, which probably most of us don't, which is all good, um, you always have those videos to go back to. And so that's what's really special about it. Uh, there's no way to record a whole day of Zoom, but that there is a is. way to save it. Oh, there it is. Yes. So they had the little bundle from Woodland and Wildflower in their retreat box. And now it is available on our website. We left it special for the retreaters and for our bundle club uh, but we now have both a little bundle on our website and the full half yard woodland and wildflowers half yard bundle now is available on the website because guess what april is coming up and a new bundle club shipment will be shipping on april 20th so if you join bundle club now you will just have to wait for the april shipment yes it's a good one but anyways, let's keep talking about retreat. So every year we choose a theme. You may remember last year we traveled on a riverboat uh, virtually, and we traveled to three cities. Uh, we went to New Orleans, we went to Memphis, and we went to Minneapolis. And so every day had um, kind of a special place where we were in that place. We dressed appropriately. We listened to music from that place. We had snacks from that place. 
and had recipes that originated from that particular city. And it really kind of completes the experience. So this year was no different. Our travel mode was the G-Easy Express train. The G-Easy Express and the conductor, Mr. HP, was the conductor of the train. All is board. still, still. All aboard, yes. Yes. Still here. Oh, where's our whistles? I gotta go get it. Got my whistle. So everybody, one of the fun things they got in their retreat box was, of course, a train whistle. So, <laughs> all right, it's time to, not time to board yet. We just got to our, our next destination, day three destination. But this train has special powers. It not just travels, takes you, and you can quilt all along the way. Um, it is also a time machine. Yes. So our cities that we have uh, stopped in, day one was New York City. New York City on June 10th, 1985. June 10th, 1985 was our stop. That's what, where we arrived. And uh, the nightclubs are bustling with activity. Every social event is followed by an after party where artists, celebrities, and socialites mingle. Uh, we had a lot of fun in New York City. We went to a Yankees game where the Yankees beat the Brewers. Yep. We went out to uh, the new field. We went to a matinee on Broadway where we got to see the hottest musical in 1985, Dream Girls. And then we had, of course, we had a New York hot dog. We had some pretzels from a cart, but we got tickets to the Madonna concert at Madison Square Garden. And so we partied hard um, at Madison Square Garden in the 80s. We played 80s music all day and had a blast. So then, magically overnight, the train took off and arrived on day two in Chicago. In, on June 17th, 1922, yes, Prohibition era, Chicago is alive with the Roaring Twenties. The city is notorious as a vibrant and thrilling town with jazz, blues, and the flapper dress all on the rise. Relying on inspiration and improvisation, jazz inspires its fans to rethink music, so lots of jazz on this day. And of course, just like the booze, the moral squads try to shut down jazz with many cities banning it in public. However, Chicago embraces jazz and the money it pushes into the speakeasy. So not only did we visit the speakeasy and went to the club to listen to some jazz, mm -hmm. we also walked the, the um, Michigan Avenue, uh, Magnificent Mile. We had some brunch at the Drake, Ho Drake Hotel and visited what would come to be Soldier Field. Uh, as the Chicago Bears were born in 1922. So uh, we had a lot of fun in Chicago as well. Lots of and fun. And dressed to the nines, of course. Had some of that good old popcorn. And we had, yes, that was in everybody's retreat box, the Chicago Mix popcorn. A recipe for a deep dish pizza was a hit. Whoa. Uh, my, many people made it, uh, including us, and yeah. we loved it. And, um, Kobe and so did Kobe. Kobe loved it too. Yes. <laughs> The kids left their leftovers on the counter, and guess what? He had a blast while we were working, working upstairs for the retreat. <laughs> Anyways, day three, we arrived this morning in San Francisco on January 14th, 1967. So hence, the outfit. And uh, this is a special time in San Francisco, the human being, which then brought in the summer of love in San Francisco. So peace, love, and harmony is uh, what we're about today. We started our day off in the Japanese tea garden and are working our way through the city, doing some fun activities. And we got tickets to a great show tonight at the Fillmore, right? Yep. So checking it all out and enjoying our drink of the day. The Mai Tai was created in San Francisco. So cheers to that, everybody. 
Let's show everybody in the square. Let's check out the retreaters. They have been having fun, haven't you? There they are. Wave, we got everybody. a few pa pages of people. They all have their uh, 60s, 70s gear on, having a great time. Nice. We love it. Um, so yes, it's just been a blast. It's going to keep being a blast. It's sad to be our last day, but this is every year we do this, and we have so much fun every single time. We play bingo every day with the bingo out. collar. Get you out of the way so you can see everybody. There it is. Yeah. Windows. And thank you, all of you retreaters, also from session one and session two, for joining us this year. This is a special event for us. It, it's so amazing to get to spend three full days, just the two of us, with all of you. So there's always fun stuff. Uh, we do a little, I do a little lecture. We do a little Ask Us Anything session. That was last night. Both sessions so, have just been wonderful. It's been great. So really a, a great opportunity to strengthen our community the GE community and the GE fam. We love it. We love it, love it, love it so much. So let's, um, let's play some slideshows from, I have day one of session one, and then I have day two of session two. It's just a little glimpse of all the photos that our retreaters took and shared in our little Facebook group. So let's swing through that really quick and, and let everybody experience what retreat is about.
Yes, thank you everybody that are part of this and I hope some of you that are not um, will join us in future years. It's just such a blast, it's such a special time. So, uh, and those of you wondering, the whistle totally doubles as a mini clapper. We tried it, <laughs> it's awesome. So, little extra bonus. So a seam, a seam clapper to put on your seams. Any questions about retreats? Anything pop up? Please ask us any questions. Um, like I said, we finish off our second session tonight. This is our last day. L lots of fun still to be had. So we are just getting, just getting started on this retreat. We had for next year. This is something we'll be ongoing and we do every year. Love it. One of our favorites. All no right. Questions, just no questions. Just great comments. Awesome. I wanted to mention that the Fast and Furious project for March has now been posted. If you are a part of Fast and Furious Club, that was posted this uh, Wednesday. So it should be in your account. The Diamond Drop Table Runner is there. And I, th I saw a couple already been made. So that's amazing. We love that. On Tuesday's show, I also uh, finally, we finally got in our Clover and Dot from Wyndham, which is the fabric in my quilt behind me. And um, so that is now available on our website. It was supposed to be a part of our options for retreat, but it didn't arrive in time. So we had to pivot and have folks pick something else. We still love what we made out of it. And um, Clover and Dot also has a little bundle that we have restocked now, it, it, um, it sold out like on day two. So uh, that is now available alongside a lot of brand new little bundles. They've been busy in the warehouse putting together little bundles. The little bundles work so great for all those little table runners and smaller projects. Two of the projects for Fast and Furious Club are made with a little bundle or can be made with a little bundle. So this one is Honey Bloom, uh, one of our brand new ones. Uh, then we have Honey Bloom be perfect for spring. Then we have Sea Sisters. That was a favorite bundle club one as well. That would be gorgeous in some fresh ocean seaside runners. Uh, this one is Starry Sky. Beautiful. This one is perfect to do a block that needs lights and darks because equal amounts of lights and darks. And then we have a perfect one for spring, Strawberry Lemonade such fresh colors reds and pinks and turquoise and this beautiful mint green so that is all brand new in the shop so check it out i know i'm hard to uh, take seriously with these glasses and with this outfit on but <laughs> i'm so having cute. fun with it so cute. i'm having fun with it i might have to take my glasses off to show you this fabric because it's a i'm not seeing very well <laughs> To be honest, to be honest, but we have a brand new line in that is like perfect for the 60s because it's colorful and fun. So uh, this is called Gradient Auras and let me just show you. Oh, we're a little lopsided here today. Too much partying going Too on, much I agree. Um, so this is just gorgeous. I'm going to start with this print. Oh, we're a little not very much zoomed in, but that's, that's okay. So you can see this gorgeous color, lots of color, lots of, um, so this has like a dark navy undertone, um, the background, and really nice bright colors, almost neon, not quite. So this is the floral, and then we have these really fun dots. This is a line from Moda Fabrics, actually. Doesn't really look like a typical Moda fabric line, but I really love the bright colors. We've been kind of lacking some bright colored fabrics uh, lately, so we're excited about this one. Here is a really fun textural, kind of like a, a layered print with all these different, different prints in it, all the colors, and the background has a little bit of black in it. But just makes all those colors stand out. We have a really fun stripe. Isn't that cool? Isn't that groovy? groovy. <laughs> I 
Isn't that groovy? I love it. This will be so much fun for bindings or uh, just a piece, a little, cut this up into, into the quilt. Going into a little more of the blue colorway, teal, turquoise, greens, um, really cool digital rendering of these prints. I love the little small dots. And then we have the big polka dots again in the greens and blues. We have the floral in a lighter undertone with the blues and the greens. How gorgeous is that? And that's not quite, that's not uh, white. This is kind of a mint green background. Really pretty. And here we have that layered print again, kind of like a collage, but with a light background and all of the lighter, warmer colors. Going into some warmer colors, we have this same print in the warms. Here it is in the blues and greens, and we have the reds and purples and yellows. We have the stripe again in the lighter colors. Just love this. This would be so much to play, fun to play with. We have a marble type texture with the pinks and purple and yellow. Look at that beautiful, just specks of bright yellow. So cool. And then finally, the big polka dots, kind of one of my favorites in this beautifully rich reddish pinks. Just gorgeous. Gradient Auras, and uh, this one I have kind of a bigger fabric pull because there's so many great colors. Let me start here on the darker end um, with those navy blue backgrounds. Grunge in the pea coat has that really deep color, but it has hints of purple in it, so that would be a really nice strongest and darkest feature. You don't really need black because this would kind of serve us um, as that. This would be a perfect focus color if you wanted to do something that, a pattern that is scrappy with focus. This would be really great and stand out nicely as a contrast. Here's a Dreams in the dark blue. So it has more blue tones to it. So it's going to tone well with the blues, but also with this darkest background here. For the other blues, we have Color Wash and the Scratch cornflower perfect tone of blue to fit with these medium blues and then i pulled a lighter jot dot light blue that works nicely with the lighter tones and then also has to have a little bit of turquoise so this is canvas in the bermuda it tones well with the teals in here and also all the ones within these patterns as well some of the Beautiful purples. I love the chalk and charcoal in the heliotrope. That matches this color perfectly. And that is, of course, sprinkled throughout everywhere else. And then a little bit lighter, a lavender, a dreams in the lavender color. It's um, all over this print, for example, and mixed in everywhere. I love this, love this texture on the new dreams. So let's go into the warmer side. We have the dry brush and the medium pink has those darker flecks in it to match with that red. And then we have a little bit softer dreams and the lilac has that soft pink. And then we have some yellow, have to have some yellow dry brush and the citrus bright yellow is perfect with all of the yellows throughout. And some beautiful lime greens we have Color was textured olive oil, has a lot of yellow, but also that um, bright green and dark green undertones. And then as a medium green, I pulled this um, Dreams in the Lime. So it's great. This could also work as an accent. It stands out enough, but it's not going to be as strong as something really, really dark. Another great option for accent, it's not really uh, prevalent in the prints, but it is there. And that's a great orange. So you see orange spec throughout all the prints. Um, so this is color wash, scratch orange. I love this um, as an accent. It really would draw your eye to it. 
Now, as far as a background, if you want to just uh, tone it down with a background or really make it stand out, I would go with white. So um, either spotted white, which has just some, a little bit of specks, so not pure white. And then I also like the dry brush and the whipped cream. So it has just a little bit of taupe in there, um, kind of a creamy texture. So both of those would work great as a background. Gradient auras. So much fun, so colorful. What a fun, fun fabric line to work on something for summer. Especially if you grew up in the 60s and 70s. Hey. That's my time. <laughs> That's your time, isn't mm -hmm. it? Gotta love that. So any questions on our new fabric on retreat or anything we featured today? Cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. Any of these in one yards? Uh, I don't think we have any of the gradient auras in one yards. But of course, all of the fabric pool, I could not stop. It's so much fun to pull, uh, pull colors with this one. Miss Diane wants to know, what pattern would you recommend? Oh boy, so many. Uh, I would probably not cut this up too much. So something really fun like, um, like a Hope or like the supersized Amelie or something like that would be super cool. Very, very cool. It would be cool in Winnie, honestly. I would love it in Winnie. <laughs> cool. Which, of course, that pattern not available yet, but so many. Cool. Kobe, it will be great as a Dina quilt. Oh, speaking of Dina, uh, the Dina quilt I made out of the Anna Maria Horner fabric is on its way. So we have it up on pre-order, but it should be arriving soon. So you can get some of that back. Yeah, but this line would be great in Dina. Yeah, with that dark navy accent or the orange. Great. Um, so, Mr. HP, do you have a winner, a live winner from all your comments? Well, sure do. Let's see. Let's you got to take your glasses off. Let me see so if you, I can find it. <laughs> so you can actually see what you're doing. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday, as great as we are um, on this beautiful day. And I know you got some snow in Minnesota for the first time this year, pretty much. Drum roll. For the snow or for the winter? For, the, for both. <laughs> for both. Here's our winner, Suzanne Gideon. Suzanne, congratulations. $25 gift card is yours. Just send us an email to help at geequaldesigns.com, and we will get you that gift card right away congrats congrats and happy friday to you help help help, help. <laughs> is that new that's cool <laughs> <laughs> anyway so our next show will be this coming tuesday tipsy tuesday will take place on march 26 um 4 p.m central time we are very excited our grandbabies are coming tomorrow well their parents are too but they, the boys are coming tomorrow to spend the week with us. Uh, we're so excited. So who knows, I might have some little bitty co-hosts this coming week. Happy Friday will be on Friday, March 29th at 12 p.m. Central Time. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Enjoy your Friday. We are going to get back to our retreat and soak it up for this last day. I hope you have a great day as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.